Welcome back to Bourbon Battles. I'm Joe. I'm Chad. Hey, hopefully you guys get a chance to uh, get out and hunt some whiskey and find some store picks and all that kind of stuff. Then hopefully you get to get down there and see our good friend Alex at Red Barrel Liquors in Mooresville, Indiana. Yeah, if you're going to hunt store picks, that'd be a good place to start. Yeah, it's one of the best around, right? He, and Red Barrel's the official liquor store of Bourbon Battles. Thank you, Alex. You're the man. So today, hopefully you watched last week's episode. We went through all kinds of... We showed you everything he had on the shelf. Yep. He's gotten a couple since then, so we're going to bring them to you. We're going to bring to you today, New Riff, Store Pick, and Silver Spring Sweet Mash Rye. Chad's never had Silver Spring Sweet Mash Rye, and I had until I tasted it with Alex the other day. Uh, so what's interesting about this, we know that this is Kentucky Distillate. But then it goes down to be bottled and everything to a company in Chattanooga, Tennessee. But we cannot figure out who makes this. Alex and I have both spent some time on the Googles and all this. And nobody seems to know. But, you know, it's not on there, bud. If you can find it, hopefully you can. So while Chad's digging on this, I'm going to pour up some of the new riff. Uh, this new riff is coming to you at 108.6 proof. Both these expressions, I would say, if you're interested in these, I wouldn't jack around for very long because I think they're both going to sell out fairly quickly. This Silver Springs has had a, a really, really good following. And while Chad's reading that, I'll give you a real quick lowdown on what Alex still has on the shelf. He's got an old 55, 100% sweet corn store pick. Which is rare. You know, the more I thought about that, the more I, I realized to have a 100% sweet corn store pick is very rare. Yeah. He's out of the other ones. Right, but just, I mean... You don't see it anywhere. Well, you, just find it on the shelf anywhere is hard enough, let alone a store pick. Yeah. He's also got a, a Hugh Hamer double oak, a Hugh Hamer cherry, another Hugh Hamer I'm going to miss, a Maverick, which is a malt whiskey, a, two different Stellum store picks. Nulu. Two different Nulu store picks. We really like those. Oh, they, they surprised me. A Knob Creek rye. Knob Creek bourbon's coming soon, hopefully. A Lee Sinclair, a Breckenridge, and I'm sure I'm missing some stuff, but go down there. Hey, and as always, down there, you try it before you buy it. Yep, which is the best way to do it. How many more do you think he's going to get this year, did he say? I think like <clears throat> seven or 800. I don't have any idea. <laughs> Let's try this new riff. Chad and I had an opportunity to go to new riff. Did you, you, you want some new riff trivia? Sure. If you go out the front door and hang a left, there's a well where they get their water. You could park on top of it. Especially, oh, huh? I'll be darned. You believe that? I do. Yeah. That's kind of a stupid inside joke. What do you think about that, bud? Pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, Funny thing about that is Alex tastes every single barrel that he has. He won't. He won't buy it if he doesn't taste it. Right. Which is, which is unusual because there are some people, some establishments who will just take whatever the distributor take does. him to take him. Yeah, he actually tastes everything that he sells, which is, in my opinion, that's a remarkable way to do it. And while we're talking about tasting barrels, you another fun fact: at some point in 2023, we're going to do a bourbon battles pick with him. At least it'd be, one. It'd be perfect. We're going to go help him pick it, and you know, hey, just so we're clear, if it's up to me, we'll give those bottles to patreon members first so if you want to be a patreon member go to www.patreon.com slash bourbon battles sure. and sign up there it costs you what a cup of coffee costs you not even a starbucks coffee like a gas station coffee now you know reap the benefits of that and then after you do that then you can check us out on youtube facebook and instagrams and tiktoks you yep. know what do you think about that new riff pick bud it's not bad. I don't know how much he's charging for it, but I mean, it's not bad. It's, it's, I will say this. About, some. I'll say this about the new riff picks. The new riff is only going to get better. The long, the longer they're in business, the better their stuff's going to be because they put out a ton of stuff in the first four years they were open and distilling. And now they've got stuff that's been aging significantly longer and they, they have made it. They've made it past the threshold to survive. So now they're going, I mean, their stuff's going to just get better. And better and better. So, I would say if you guys are new Riff fans, keep an eye on it because in the next two or three years, I think it's going to get that much better, be that much more interesting. Stand by here just one second. Now, did a little sneak sneak peek of this. This is this stuff has gotten extremely popular. This Silver Springs Rye. 
um, it's gotten ex very, very popular with a lot of our Patreon members. They've had a chance to get over there and get it already and report it back to me. Is that right? Yeah. I'm going to taste it against that. You go ahead, bud. No, right there. You done with this? Mm hmm. So this is a Silver Springs. This is a $50 bottle. Is that what he's asking for? Well, we don't know where it's from. We just know it's from Kentucky. It's Kentucky. Sweet mash rye. Well, kind of narrows it down. You can only think about three places. Do anything sweet mashed? My guess would be, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. And the reason I did this second glass is I want you to taste it side by side with us. We'll just share this glass. You know how big, how much we love the hard truth sweet mash, right? I can already tell you that's good, but it's not like that. It doesn't, I don't get the maple. I hate to say it, but I don't get it. It's the, the hard truth, I think, is better, which he has in stock. So grab them both while you're there. But this, for a little more than half the price. That's, this is good. I like it. I mean, there's no burn at all. What's the proof on this bad boy? It's, it's pretty... like 117. 111.67. This is a 115. In stock at Red Barrel. It's pretty good, pretty pleasant, pretty pleasant surprise on this Silver Springs, in my opinion. I never heard of it. Had you? Taking the world by storm, Red Barrel. Have you looked up keepersquestbrands.com? Mm -hmm. no, they have a website, but no data to lead you back to the I don't know, and that might be better than that. I might like that better, actually. Pretty good, isn't it? I don't get the maple on that hard truth that I did the first time. It's different. They're both sweet mash rice. It's definitely different. Uh, I think it'd be worth going to check out. I mean, you can, like I said, you can taste it. That's that makes all the difference in the world. Don't take our word for it. Right. Go down there and say, I'd like to try a little bit of that, and they're yeah. going to let you. They will. So, hey, that's what it's all about. Red barrels. Well, how long do you think it takes to get there from Indianapolis? 20, 25 minutes? Depends on what side of Indianapolis we have. Downtown. Yeah. Be there in 25 minutes, 20 yeah. minutes. So it's not very far away. I'd go down there and check it out. Uh, there's big things to come, man. We always say, you know, get to know your local liquor store owners and Hey, do us a favor when you go in there to try these store picks. Let them know Bourbon Battles sent you. That would help us out a little bit. And uh, go down there, get some of this stuff, but don't put it on Facebook and sell it. Be a sipper, not a flipper. Yeah. Don't be a bourbon butthole. No. And if you do drink whiskey, drink it with your friends, but drink it responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Please don't. Oh, if you drink, don't drive. Do the watermelon crumb.